China dominates the oil shipping industry with the world's biggest fleet of oil tankers. But did you know that China also has the world's largest oil tanker? Under its massive fleet, China has a colossal 333-meter-long beast capable of hauling a staggering 320,000 tons of crude oil. In this video, we're diving into China's massive Kaigui oil tanker, its awesome features, fascinating history, and its crucial role in China's energy strategy. So stay tuned, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. China's Oil Industry the purpose of an oil tanker is to transport oil and petroleum products in large quantities. Because they carry oil from fields to refineries, oil tankers play a crucial role in the international energy market. They also have an impact on the market for oil and its price due to their transportation costs and availability. This sector plays a crucial role in the Chinese economy and energy independence, and for that reason, China is also the biggest consumer and importer of oil in the world. The Chinese oil industry dates back over 2,000 years, when people first discovered and introduced oil and gas in their everyday lives, marking the beginning of the country's oil business. So it's no wonder that developing oil tankers is such a big part of China's mission. The Chinese company, Costco Shipping Energy, has built and operates its own fleet of oil tankers to satisfy the country's increasing need for imported oil. From its humble beginnings as a Far Eastern oil transport company, the firm grew into a formidable player in the bulk cargo shipping industry, particularly for coal and crude oil. In 2006, it completed the first large-scale LNG tanker in China, including membrane tanks and a capacity of 175,000 cubic meters. And since then, the country has developed many massive oil tankers to satisfy Chinese oil consumption. China's oil tanker industry has made significant technological, creative, and scalability advancements that have wide-ranging effects on the global oil market and maritime industry. The world's largest oil tanker, Kaigui, is also a part of them. China's homegrown Kaigui, a 320,000-tonne oil tanker, is a marvel for its oil consumption needs. The biggest offshore oil transport company in China, China Merchants Energy Transport Co. Limited, received it in November 2014. Chinese plans call for the construction of four VLCCs, the first of which is Kaigui, as part of the country's strategic petroleum reserve program. At 333 meters in length, 60 meters in breadth, and 30.4 meters in depth, the Kaigui is an enormous ship, and at 15.5 knots, it can carry 2.2 million barrels of oil and has a dead weight of 319,000 tons. The 7,270 kilowatt equivalent seven-stroke diesel engine that powers the Kaigui runs at modest speeds. In addition to its size, Kaigui is safe, efficient, and kind to the environment. In the case of an accident or grounding, its double-hull design will keep oil from leaking out. Along with an automated identification system, a voyage data recorder, and an integrated bridge system, it boasts a sophisticated navigation system. Kaigui's low-emission engine complies with the Tier 2 regulations for reducing nitrogen oxide emissions set by the International Maritime Organization. Kaigui is an impressive example of China's capability to design and construct oil tankers on par with other nations. According to the Globe Fleet Monitor, there were 810 VLCCs with a combined dead weight of 243.7 million tons on the globe as of December of 2020. Chinese ownership accounted for 26.8% of the total, with 217 holdings. China gains an advantage in the lucrative and competitive oil transportation business with the help of Kaigui and its sister ships, which are among the world's largest and most modern VLCCs. But what exactly can Kaigui do? On a single trip, the Kaigui can carry enough oil to meet almost 10% of China's daily demand, about 2.2 million barrels. About 73% of China's oil demand in 2020 came from outside the country, making it the biggest oil importer in the world. Since the Middle East provides almost 44% of China's oil imports, the country is particularly susceptible to supply interruptions, price swings, and geopolitical crises in the oil-producing regions. 
To that end, China has been actively seeking to diversify its energy supply, boost domestic production, increase its strategic oil reserves, and encourage the use of alternative energy sources, among other initiatives. Kai Gui, as a means of transporting crude oil from various places to China's strategic oil reserves and refineries, is a key aspect of China's endeavors to increase its energy independence and security. With a capacity of over 550 million barrels, China's strategic oil reserves are sufficient to cover nearly 40 days of net oil imports. To create cleaner, higher quality fuels, refineries in China are also increasing their processing capacity and modernizing their facilities. Thanks to the Kai Gui, the country can lessen its reliance on foreign shipping companies, decrease transportation costs, and boost its negotiating strength in the global oil market by establishing its own fleet of VLCCs. China's dedication and competence in designing and building oil tankers that fulfill the greatest requirements of safety, efficiency, and environmental preservation are all demonstrated by Kai Gui's EEDI certificate. It also demonstrates China's role in the international initiatives to lessen the impact of the shipping industry on climate change, which is responsible for around 3% of all greenhouse gas emissions. As a representation of China's leadership and responsibility in combating climate change, the Kai Gui represents the country's technical prowess and marine industry ambitions. But what makes this massive tanker so special? All things considered, the Kai Gui tanker is nothing more than a stretch. In its many roles, the Kai Gui, China's largest domestically built tanker, has displayed impressive personality. Not only is it seven times larger than the leading aircraft carriers in terms of displacement, but its deck space is about four football fields combined. When compared to other oil tankers throughout the world, its load capacity is significantly higher. Kai Gui has the capacity to transport 320,000 tons of crude oil when she's fully loaded, which is enough to power the whole nation of China for one whole day. Coincidentally, that's how much time it takes to fill the ship up as well. In spite of making full use of all oil pipes, filling Kai Gui's tanks will still take a full day and a night. It typically takes very advanced shipbuilding technologies to construct a jumbo-class tanker of this size. Building a massive ship often requires a great number of design drawings, a vast number of shipbuilders, and the use of enormous gantry cranes and docks. And for the Kai Gui, China truly went overboard. A 600-ton crane and thousands of shipbuilders were employed to construct this monolith. Assembling the tanker is done by gradually holsting its almost 300 parts to a big pier. Most nations just don't have what it takes to pull this out, leaving only a major shipbuilding powerhouse like China on the steering wheel. This also shows China's competitiveness in the shipbuilding industry. China is becoming a more formidable competitor in the global shipping industry after the introduction of the Kai Gui. Up until China's recent ascent, the shipbuilding industry was dominated by Japan and South Korea, with South Korea being unrivaled. The Dai Wu shipbuilding business in South Korea has supplied almost half of the world's 300,000 ton mega ships in the past several years. As China's shipbuilding industry grew and technology advanced, South Korea's position as a global leader in shipbuilding steadily eroded. China monopolized 34% of the market share in 2014, igniting competition with South Korea. The world now sees China's formidable shipbuilding capabilities and potential thanks to the completion of the Kai Gui and the last assembly of the 320,000 ton ship took only one year. Every country was eager to give orders to China because of how efficient the country is. And after three years, in 2017, China's shipbuilding sector gained the upper hand over South Korea in all three key aspects, placing them first globally. The fact that China can construct a ship as massive as the Kai Gui demonstrates the superiority of Chinese shipbuilding technology. The country's market share has already surpassed 40%, stabilizing traditional shipbuilding powers like Japan and South Korea. To get closer to its ultimate goal of controlling 60% of the global shipbuilding business, China plans to enhance its competitive advantages and work on improving its costs and efficiency in the future. From production to orders of capacity, China's shipbuilding industry is already dominating the global stage. In the years since the 1979 reform and opening up strategy, it has made tremendous strides. On the other hand, it encounters obstacles like technical innovation, environmental laws, and global de-risking. To overcome these obstacles to keep its dominant position, China's shipbuilding industry plans to raise its level, expand into a new market category, and boost domestic demand. So. 
Do you think China will be able to maintain its monopoly in the shipbuilding business? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video about China's massive Kaigui oil tanker. And if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.